Welcome to our online class. This is Ma'am Teresa Tuba. Join me to enjoy mathematics. Let us explore in dividing polynomials using long division. What is polynomial expression? As you can see, this is the polynomial expression where e sub n should not be equal to 0, n n is considered as degree of polynomials, and x sub 0, x sub 1, and so on are real number of coefficients. Polynomial expression satisfy the following condition. First, it should be no negative exponent of the variable. Second, no fractional exponent, so it means no 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 over 5 in the variable. And then the third, no positive exponent in the denominator. So let us see to the example of conditions number 1. No negative exponent of the variable. Which among the three have no negative exponent of the variable? Correct. That is x squared plus 3 because x to the negative 2 is negative exponent, x to the negative 3 is negative exponent. How about the second condition? No fractional exponent of the variable. Which among the three? No fractional exponent. Correct. That is x to the fifth plus x squared because this one have fractional exponent, x to the two third, and this one also have fractional exponent because cube root of x, it is also equal to x raised to 1 over t. How about number 3? No positive exponent of the variable in the denominator. Which among the three have no positive exponent in the variable? Correct. That is x cubed plus 2x over 3. How to divide polynomial expressions using long division? What are the different steps to divide the polynomials? First, we need to arrange. Arrange in decreasing power of exponent, from highest exponent to lowest exponent. And then second, we need to divide the first term of the dividend of the first term of the divisor. So second step, we need to divide. Third step, we need to multiply the partial quotient to the divisor. How about the fourth step? The fourth step, after multiplying, we need to subtract the result from the dividend. After subtracting the fifth step, we need to bring down the next term in the dividend. And then the last step, we need to repeat the process until done. We need to divide for x squared plus 15x minus 15 by x plus 5. So it means 4x plus 15x minus 15 divided by x plus 5. So let, what could be the parts of this? So the parts, this one is considered as the divisor. And this one is considered as the dividend. And this one is considered as the quotient. You can write the result of the division as follows. But before that, we need to identify what is P of X. P of X is the dividend. D of X is the divisor. Q of X is the quotient. And R of X is the remainder. So it means dividend divided by divisor is equal to the quotient of X plus whatever is the remainder divided by the divisor. So we can also write the result in this one. So Q of X, P of X divided by D of X is equal to Q of X plus R of X all over D of X. Question number one. Let us divide for X squared minus 15X minus 15 by X plus 5. What could be the first step? The first step is we need to arrange from highest to lowest exponent. As you can see, this one arranged from highest exponent to the lowest exponent. The exponent of this one is 2, this one is 1, and then the exponent of negative 15 is equal to 0 because negative 15 x to the 0, that is negative 15. So we need to divide for x squared minus 15x minus 15 by x plus 5. Second step, we need to divide. So divide. If we divide 4x squared divided by x, ibig sabihin nun, babawasan ng isang x, so that become 4x. After dividing, we need to multiply. 
So, multiply 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times 5 is equal to 20x. After multiplying, fourth solution is subtract. So, we need to subtract. If we want to subtract, that becomes, we need to change the sign. So, that is minus. So, that becomes, proceed to addition, change the sign. So, negative and negative. So, unlike sign, subtract, same sign, add. So, 4 minus 4 is 0. And then, negative 15 plus negative 20, that is negative 35x. So, bring down. So, after bring, after bring down negative 15, we need to divide. So, we need to repeat uh, step number 2. So, divide. Negative 35x divided by x is negative 35. So, babawasan natin ng isa. So, that is negative 35. So, negative 35, we need to multiply it by x. So, negative 35 times x is negative 35x. Negative 35 times positive 5 is negative 175. Again, we need to subtract. So, if we need to subtract, that becomes, we need to distribute, proceed to addition. So, this becomes positive 35x and then positive 175. So, cancel. 35 minus 35 is 0. Negative 15 plus 175. Subtract. Copy the big sign. So, 160. And then, copy the big sign. That is 160. So, what is now uh, the quotient? So, the result, P of X divided by D of X, it should be get the quotient. So, the quotient is 4X minus 35. Afterwards, let us get the remainder. So, the remainder is equal to 160. So, let us get the remainder. After getting the remainder, let us get the divisor. The divisor is x plus 5. So, it means uh, the result is 4x minus 35 plus 160 all over x plus 5. Okay, how about number 2? x cubed minus 4x plus 6x squared plus 8 divided by x plus 2. What is the quotient? So again, the first solution is we need to arrange. To arrange, so x cubed, the next one is 6x squared. After 6x squared is negative 4x plus 8. So we need to divide all by x plus 2. So x cubed plus 6x squared minus 4x plus 8 divided by x plus 2. So second step, we need to divide. So x cubed divided by x is x squared. So x cubed, tatlong x, divide mo sa isang x, magiging dalawang x, kaya x squared. After dividing, the third step is multiply. So x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 2 is 2x squared. After multiplying, the fourth step is subtract. So, subtract and then proceed to addition. Change the sign of the open and close parentheses and proceed to addition. So, that becomes negative x cubed minus 2x squared. Proceed to addition. So, then distribute natin yung negative to the open and close parentheses. Next, 1x cubed minus 1x cubed that is canceled. That is equal to 0. And then 6 minus 2 is positive 4x squared. After positive 4x squared, the fifth step is bring down. So, 4x squared minus 4x. So, and then afterwards, repeat the next step. So, we need to divide. So, 4x squared divided by x is positive 4x. So, binawasan ng isang x ulit. That is positive 4x. After dividing, we need to multiply. 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times 2 is positive 8x. And then, fourth step, we need to subtract. So, if we subtract, the open and close parenthesis is the second one. We need to distribute. So, this becomes negative 4x squared and negative 8x. So, this becomes, proceed to addition, change the sign. And then, 4 minus 4, that is equal to 0, cancel. And then, negative 4 minus 8, add. And then, copy the big sign. So, that becomes 8 plus 4 is 12. Copy the big sign that is negative 12x. And then, bring down positive 8. So, if we bring down positive 8, the next step is we need to divide it again. So, divide. So, negative 12x divided by x. So, babawasan ulit ng isang x. So, that is negative 12. After dividing, multiply again. 
So negative 12 times x is negative 12x. Negative 12 times positive 2. So unlike sign, negative times positive is negative. 12 times 2 is equal to 24. Fourth step again is subtract. So this becomes subtract and then write the open and close parenthesis. Change the sign of the open and close parenthesis that becomes positive, positive. So positive 12x and positive 24. So proceed to addition. 12 minus 12 is 0. 24 plus 8, that is equal to 32. So what could be the quotient? So we can write the quotient as the Q of x. So the quotient the Q of X is equal to X squared, this one, plus 4X minus 15, plus the remainder. What is the remainder? So the remainder is equal to 32. So 32 all over the divisor. The divisor is X plus 2. So it means the quotient of this given number 2, X squared, plus 4X minus 12, plus 32 over X plus 2. Question number 3. 3x to the 5th plus 80 minus 5x plus 53x squared plus 2x to the 4th all over x plus 3. What could be the quotient? So again, we need to arrange 3x to the 5th and then 2x to the 4th. Hanapin ko may x cubed. Wala. So kung wala, we need to write 0x cubed. Next, hanapin yung x squared. So the x squared is 53x squared. Next, yung kasunod x. So the x is negative 5x. And then x to the 0, so that is 80. Divide all by x plus 3. So let us identify the quotient. So if we divide, again, divide. So 3x to the 5th divided by x is 3x to the 4th. Bawasan ng isang x. After dividing, we need to multiply. 3x to the 4th times x is 3x to the 5th. 3 times 3 is 9, so 9x to the 4th. And then subtract. If we subtract, again, in the open and close parentheses, change the sign. So this become negative, negative. Proceed to addition. So negative 3x to the 5th minus negative uh, minus 9x to the 4th. Proceed to addition. Cancel 3 minus 3 is 0. And then 2 minus 9. Subtract, copy the big sign that is negative 7, copy x to the 4th. Bring down 0x cubed. After bring down, let us divide it again. Negative 7x to the 4th divided by x, so babawasan isang x, this, this become negative 7x cubed. After dividing, we need to multiply by the divisor, so that becomes negative 7x cubed times x is negative 7x to the 4th. Negative 7x cubed times 3, so negative 7 times 3 is negative 21. Copy x cubed. Again, subtract and then distribute in the open and close parentheses, proceed to addition. So this, this become plus, plus, positive 7x to the 4th and positive 21x cubed. Again, subtract. So 7 minus 7 is 0, cancel, and then 0 plus 21 is 21x cubed. Bring down 53x squared. So 21x cubed divided by x is positive 21x squared. So and then after dividing, multiply. So 21x squared multiplied by the divisor times x is 21x cubed. 21x squared times 3. 21 times 3 is 63. And then x squared times 1 is x squared. Again, subtract. Multiply in the open and close parentheses, so this become negative, negative. Negative 21x cubed minus 63x squared, proceed to addition. 21 minus 21, that is equal to 0. And then 53 minus 63 is negative 10x squared. Again, bring down negative 5x. Proceed to divide it again. Negative 10x squared divided by x, is that becomes negative 10x. Negative 10x... Multiply with the divisor, so negative 10x times x is negative 10x squared. Negative 10x times 3 is negative 30x. Again, subtract. Um, distribute the negative, so this become positive, positive, positive 10x squared, and positive 30x. Proceed to addition. 10 minus 10 is equal to 0. 
30 minus 5, that is equal to 25x. So, bring down positive 80. So, again, 25x divided by x, that is equal to 25. 25 multiplied by the divisor, so 25 times x is 25x. 25 times 3, that is positive 75. Subtract. If we change, uh, if we distribute negative to open and close parentheses, that becomes negative 25x minus 7. Again, proceed to addition. 25 minus 25 cancel. 80 minus 75, the remainder is equal to positive 5. So the quotient is 3x to the 4th minus 7x cubed plus 21x squared minus 10x plus 25. The remainder is 5 all over by the divisor that is x plus 3. Let's do it. Let us divide polynomials using long division. Instruction, post the video and try to solve on your own. Question number 1. Let us divide x cubed plus 11x squared minus 4x minus 9 divided by x minus 2. What is the quotient? Correct. The answer for the quotient is x squared plus 13x plus 22 plus 35 over x minus 2. Question number 2. Let us divide x cubed minus x squared plus 50 by x plus 3. What is the answer? Correct. The answer is x squared minus 4x plus 12 plus 2 over x plus 3. Let us recall how to divide polynomial expressions using long division. So what are the different steps to remember? First, we need to arrange from highest exponent to the lowest exponent. Second, divide. After dividing, we need to multiply. The fourth step, subtract. And then the fifth step, bring down. And then the sixth step, repeat the process from step 1 up to step 5. I hope you learn in dividing polynomials using long division. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.